beautiful people this is ruchi singh and as you all know um i document my life organization tips and some diys on my youtube channel um so today is one of those lazy saturday afternoons um but i have really got something interesting to share with you on my on my video today um i will share with you how i am going to be making candles at home and trust me this is my first attempt making candles at home so it's a very easy task for beginners don't worry about it um also i'm going to share with you how i just brought in some wood logs and turned them into posters and a little centerpiece um a center tray for my center table in the living room so please click to my channel and um if you like my videos uh please like comment and share them with your friends relatives and anyone you know so let's get started So this is a very simple technique and a basic one. I have got a candle making kit from Hobby Lobby. And uh, I've just kept a pan with boiling water in there and then this is the jug that I got also from Hobby Lobby which has uh the the wax in there. So uh the boiler that I have kept down is um specially so that the the wax in the jug doesn't stick or burn. Um this is called the uh double boiler method so the wax will melt inside this jug. Until the wax is melting up there I have got these two little jars that I'm going to pour my melted wax in. While, with the help of the hot glue gun I'm just sticking the wicks that also came in the candle making kit onto the base of this jar. I'll repeat the same process in the second jar as well. You can buy these wicks um other than the kit as well individually but since it was already there in the kit I planned um taking the entire kit since I this this is like my beginner's project and I wanted to make sure I have everything I'm just using this marker pen to kind of uh, make sure that the wick is stuck onto the base of the jar So I've been constantly um you know uh checking if the wax is melted and now as you see that the wax is completely melted um in the pot so I'm just going to remove the pot from the boiler and um now is the right time to add our essential oil fragrance oil and if you want to add any color to it So I'm quickly pouring the uh, orange fragrance and eucalyptus fragrance to it and um as i said this is my beginner's project you know i'm just trying to essential oils um with it you can just use one if you like it or you can mix a couple of them together i'm just trying this to know um how it comes out so i'll just give a quick mix and the the mix is ready to be poured in the jars So securing the wicks um on the base of the jar I'm just going to pour the melted wax um in the jar you just have to make sure that the wicks are straight and uh, uh you know the the wax goes right um onto the base so I'm just going to make two candles so I I will be adding this mix um in both my jars
once um, the entire mix is poured, I'll just let the wax dry a little bit, like for an hour or two. You can leave it for more hours to kind of set it right. I just kept that for um, like two to three hours. So here I'm just showing you um, how you can use your homemade candles as a gift. So I had got this design tapes uh, also from Hobby Lobby and I'm just um, kind of, you know, um, putting the tape over the jar. And who doesn't like a homemade candle as a gift? Just customize the fragrance and voila, it's ready to go. So um, the second candle that I'm going to show you is, I'll just uh, burn it and show it to you. I just cut the wick from the top because it was too long. Um, so I just kind of cut it to almost the brim of the, um, almost the level of the candle. And this is how my candle looks when I burn it. simple it is to make candles at home it's not a great uh, it's not a very big deal you can just get a candle making kit and try making a couple of candles at home um, make them with your favorite fragrances use them in your kitchen your living room your bathrooms your bedrooms as you like it and um, once you feel that you're pretty um, good at making it you can start getting more fragrances colors and variations in the candles so um, try it at home and let me know comment uh, in my video below and let me know how do you like the method and you can just use this method in making more customized candles So now um, the woodblock coasters, again, they are a very simple um, coaster making technique that I'm going to use and these are woodblocks that I got from a craft store. Um, actually you can just use them as they are without even coloring them but I am going to color it because I really want something that's bright in color and I'm going to use one of my favorite colors, turquoise, um, to color these woodblocks. So let's get started. So I've just set the base um, with a newspaper and I'm going to use a sponge brush and color the wood logs in um, turquoise and I'm only coloring one side of the wood log because uh, in that way I can use both the sides of the wood log uh, depending on my mood. Sometimes I can just set it to uh, the turquoise side and sometimes I can just set it on a neutral side. And I keep rubbing it with um, a paper towel and the reason behind it is just one that I want I don't want to give it a very thin satin look I want to give it a rough look so that's the only reason so isn't that coaster looking beautiful you can make these coasters with different shapes, sizes and colors. Um, try it and let me know how you like it. Next I'm going to show you a center table tray um, which is very super simple and easy to use and you can just use it anywhere you like it. I'm going to use it on my center table in the living room. So let's get started. So this is a frame that um, I had in my home lying for a very long time and I didn't know where to place it. So I just picked up that frame and I had this wall hanging in my um, old home um, bathroom and I just uh, cut that hanging and I placed it in the frame and I made it just look like a tray and uh, it just looks beautiful. Um, now what I'm going to do is on my center table um, in the living room I'm going to just place this tray and decorate it with um, uh, little succulent plants and um, I um, am also going to put um, a candle and um, that's it and uh, you remember the uh, the turquoise coasters that I had made with the woodlock I'm just going to add that on the tray as well 
so we I don't have to go um, every time run to the kitchen and grab coasters when I'm having tea coffee or drinks so that's it my center table looks beautiful with this setup and uh, this is such a simple DIY that you can use for your um, uh, for your home so try it and let me know how you like it I'm sure these uh, little simple DIYs must um, would add to your home decor uh, and as I always request you if you like my videos please like subscribe share and comment um, give me lots of love and let me know what else would you like to see on my youtube channel please share this as much as you can and um, I'm going to see you again very soon uh, next week with something new so till then, take care, have a great week. Bye-bye.